to cover the last show of the year. Yes, sir. It's gonna be fun. Yep. Yeah. You gonna, gonna be show pretty... anything down there? No, this this you, that's <laughs> it. Just me. Well, yeah, I I'm ain't a show, but go. we <laughs> are gonna get some interviews, so everybody be ready for us to ask. Jer Jerry's been practicing yes, on, his I have. <clears throat> on his questions. On his questions, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna tell, say something too. You see that on his head? He took my cap away from me. <laughs> so I went over to his barn, and I stole his from him. That's right. <laughs> so now we got yakety yak yep. everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Jerry, you you do yours, and then we'll do we'll get going. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Welcome to where the five to nine more than makes up for the nine to five. To where you check your troubles, along with your coat. And days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had, since the last time you were here. To old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you want to be. Instead of telling you about an affordable communication service that will save you money for a rainy day, I'm going to let one of my clients from Columbia Dental Group tell you all about Host My Services. You're not losing any service, your phone calls, you don't drop any calls, have any issues at all. They have the app where if you have an off-site person, they just have the app on their phone, they can use it from there. Like you should definitely get a quote because even buying a whole new phone system is cheaper than what you're going to pay for with Verizon or AT&T or anybody else through them. And the quality is great. Just the customer service. Customer service, I talked to him. There's two things to remember when checking out Host My Communication Services. Number one is free analysis of your current communication cost. Number two is there's no capital outlay for the equipment. Two great reasons to call 931-581-4411 today and start saving for that rainy day. People in Tennessee are starting a movement. Out. Thank you. To clean up the litter on our roadways. Litter hurts our environment and endangers wildlife, and it affects our quality of life. Here, cut me. Thank you. Help keep our state litter free. Patrol! Visit NobodyTrashesTennessee.com and be a part of the solution to end littering. Saving the best for last. That's right. Nobody trashes Tennessee. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3. And be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. Welcome back. United Walking Horse Finale is the 14th, 15th, and 16th in Tunica, Mississippi. Link Webb, Bill Cantrell, and Rod Slagle will be calling the shots. And uh, there ain't no sense in us giving any more information because <laughs> we're, we're there now. That's right. <laughs> so I'll tell you, 
I, I did want to bring this up. We, a lot of people now, we, we're going to have a change in the administration in Washington. That's not going to help us. Uh, what would help us if the right person got Secretary of Agriculture? Yeah. That'd be good. We're going to have to solve this in a court of law. And there's another thing out there that the Humane Society, that the uh, USDA is asking the Humane Society to get involved. That's not true either. If you would read the information that's available, you will find that there was a filings made against the USD against the Humane Society being involved by the industry and by the USDA. Nobody wants them involved. Matter of fact, my personal opinion, the Humane Society of the United States has caused a lot of the problems by, as they call, undercover agents going out. But if you honestly look at the video that's out there and available, there is a law against aiding and abetting. And if you look at the video, that's all you got to do is just look at the video, and when you see a, from a camera and they're handing something there, right there, there's only one person that could have done the video, and that's the person that gave it to the Humane Society of the United States. So that's something to think about. Yes. You, you, you kind of entrapment, you say, well, try this, try that. And there's some things that just gall me, but people trying to trick you into something, I've got a major problem with it. Yes. It just best thing for them to do is just stay out of it. Other thing is there, there's a lot going on right now with everybody is fundraising, <coughs> things like this, which I'm, I'm for 100%. It's, we need to. We need to raise as much money as we can because we're, we're in for a battle. Yes. And that's what people need to go right there. Send your checks to FAST and tell them it's for the legal fund. Be sure to say, that's what Mike says in, in the ad, legal fund. That's what the money needs to go for, every dime of it. What else are we going to do? Oh, yeah, we've got some jewelry, but not much because I'm getting ready to send out 10 pieces of this going out oh, man. FedEx. Uh, one gentleman bought, called in, and uh, he and I went back and forth. So the belt buckle's gone, the, the sapphire and diamond's gone, the baguette's gone, uh, the big diamond with the pear shape, it's yeah. gone. Uh, earrings, the double horseshoe earrings, they're gone. Uh, but I still have some good stuff with some outstanding prices. The uh, get the stirrup with the uh, emeralds in it, it's gone. <laughs> so uh, the ruby ring is gone. But like I say, I still have some other stuff. That, uh, it's getting that time, it's getting Christmas time it's, now. It's, it's Christmas time now, it I'm is. glad I done got mine done. It took, it didn't take me long. I'm surprised the farrier hadn't bought that. Yes. I really am, because that's a, that's a neat necklace, buddy, a real neat one. And here's something that uh, we're going to do. I, I just, I, I feel bad for Kim and George Lewis. Yes, I do. They lost a fantastic horse. I mean, Honor and remember is very special. I mean, he, he really was. That, that horse had a gait. We've shown him with a little girl in the stall with him. He was just one of these special animals. Yeah. You know, and I feel sorry for, for Kim and her family for losing that horse, but I tell you something, Gary, by being a horse trainer, yep. it's very hard for a horse trainer to lose one like that when you didn't put, especially like Dan had that horse from the beginning That's and it. worked his way up to the point yeah. he is now. You spent a lot of hours and time 
and worries and everything else and, right. and treat them, especially when you got one that you, when you ride for that big state class hey, I, and you I ride agree. and you can get them roses on it. I mean, right. it's, a, it's a lot of, a lot of people don't think trainers have a big heart, but they do when it comes to horses like that. Yeah. When it comes to horses, it they hurts. have a big heart. It hurts. It hurts. If you lose one, it yeah. hurts. And I can only imagine how Dan feels. Because he was with that horse every day. I know. Seeing that horse every day, you know, I seven think, days a week. I think about the little girl, too, because she yeah. loved that horse. So it, it just, it, pe people don't realize, they, they really don't realize the care that trainers and owners. That's right. I mean, some of your owners, it, 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 when I lose one, I, I just can't stand it. It just, uh, it, 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 it's very heartbreaking. I've been doing this over 40 something years, and I tell you, it's, every time I, if I lose one, it's hard. It's hard to do. Well, that one right there was one of the best. I mean, he had a walk, he could go. I mean, he was just a, very, very special animal. Yeah, especially when you have a special, uh, one special like that. You know, it's 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 hard to to lose. It is. But Dan, I feel for you, my friend. But I wanted to show this because that horse had won his share of state classes. One of the top horses in the industry. I'll never forget Kim said one time when he was four and he threw a little hissy fit and said, he's a teenager. Yeah. <laughs> Honor and remember. He will be missed. That's fact. We will. And we did a bunch of other stuff. I've, we've <coughs> got a, I've got a horse that, I, I mean, I, I love this horse. He just, uh, he, he's one of your daughters taking a liking yes. to him. But uh, I'm going. I'm trying to sell some of mine, so I, I put him up for sale. And I want to have to say this: we got James Wilson to bring Eli Cunningham out to ride him to show. Now this is a stallion. We're talking about a four-year-old stallion. That was the first time Eli had ever been on that horse. Yes. Yeah. I tell you, that's an easy going horse. To be a stud horse and yeah. be as big as he is, I mean, he's just like a general giant. He just, he, and people have asked me about, I've had several comments about him and, and contacts about him. That back end's for real. Oh, yes. He was born with it. We showed him, David, I can still remember the day David Williams called me and he said, Jerry, you got a freak out here. And I will say this, the longer he goes, the better he gets. Yes. And, and anybody can ride him. Yeah. I tell you, hey, that horse is just as easy. Come out every day, I mean, just ready to work and love to work. He gets it done, but I'm, I'm gonna take my hat off to Eli now. I think Eli, he, he, done he, a good he, did, job. A, he did a fantastic job. He did job. a real good job. He really did a good job. You know, a lot of people don't, I mean, they, they think, well, we got to get to know him. If, if Eli could ride a stud, I could call Eli up right before the horse show and say, hey, I ain't got no ride. Right, that's right. How about coming and ride? Because <laughs> he just got on the horse and went to town. Went to town, that's right. I think your, your daughter, Amber, she warned him up about halfway around yeah. the ring, and mm -hmm. you said, that's good. Let him go. So, uh. It's just anybody interested in him, contact me or contact you. If Jerry. you had a horse that you just wanted somebody that you can ride or looking for a horse to ride and show and, and have fun with, that's the horse, I tell you. He just you is a very I, easy horse to get along with. Like Dave, we took him and took him shoes off of him. He'd go into a flat shot class, I think. Oh, yeah. Now, I mean, that, that's just me saying because he's, he's just got that ability. But he's 16-1, he's 16-2, something like that. He's a good sized horse. Oh, he's a big horse. But he loves his cookies, I will tell you all that, but not after you worm him. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 didn't, he, he didn't like the idea of eating that cookie after I gave him that warmer. <laughs> I, I admire that young man. Oh, right yeah. There cause he, Eli's a good rider now. I mean, he's, he can, he, he's got a good set of hands on him. 
Both of them. His little brother can ride real good, too. Yeah. His, yeah. his little brother, I saw him in his first show. Yeah. Now, he did great. Yeah, he can, he can ride real good. He, he was out there watching. I'm yep. surprised he didn't say there's a <laughs> on there. But he, he's young. We got to, we'll be leaving for Tunica, and uh, I know a lot of people are looking at what's going on, but I, I just hope everybody supports this Tunica show like they did the Fall Classic. Yes. And we had, what, 564 entries, I believe it was, with a 97, a little over 97% compliance rate. That's with, without the government there. Yes. So they can't tell me that, number one, we can't police ourselves, but our quality of our horses has just, through the breeding and just watching what we're doing, has created, and I'm, I'm gonna tell you, I give the USDA credit for that because they made things rough on us. So people quit going out there and grabbing every mare in the pasture and breeding it. Yeah. They started looking at what they was breeding and matching up, calling people like the Benedicts and, and down at uh, Sugar Creek, calling them yeah. and asking them, say, what would go with this? What would go with that? And working together to put out the best horse we could get. In yes. What's happened, we have, we have bred one of the best horses out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you, when you look at flat shot horses, trail horses, Tennessee walking horse, trail horses selling for 15,000 to 70, what was that one that sold for 76,000? No, yeah. yeah. That's a Tennessee we, walking horse. We got better horses that have got more talent now yeah. than we ever have. We, cause people didn't took the time enough to, to went and bred them different ways and done different things. And you got a lot more talent in the horse today than I think we ever have. I do too. And I think a lot of people are realizing, hey, this Tennessee walking horse is something special, especially if you're trail riding. Yes. George Foreman once said, if he'd had a Tennessee walking horse, Muhammad Ali wouldn't have beat him because <laughs> he wouldn't have been so cranked up yeah, that's riding right. a quarter horse. Now, he said that. Yeah. He, he told the trainers that in the meeting. But th this is what I'm talking about. All these other breeds can sit on the sideline and see what's going on. But there's one fact. If the USDA gets their way, they don't care what horse you got. Yes. They've already said, their new rule applies to all horses. Yeah. Not just ours, not just the racking horse, not just the spotted horse, not just the saddle bread, not just the Morgan. It applies to all of them. And as soon as all these other breeds get that, the only person who's really got it are their court horse people. Yeah. They see it, they understand it, and, and they support what we're doing. This is something these other breeds need to be looking at because if they don't, you ever heard the old saying, sucking a hind tip to a running board? That's hog? right. That's what they're going to be doing. Let's go to pick your partner class that was a very special class. And for some reason, I dropped it. <laughs> but Kendra Myers was reserving that class and she did a great job. But this was pick your partner. Hey, Charlene won this class with Amanda Manis and Lauren Hamilton. Sideline, Carrie Mc, Car Kelly Query and Kendra Myers was reserved. Cassius Ritzy Lady, Carol Brooks Adams and Ann Evans was third. Spoke Show, Danielle Van Vander Hoven and Kyle Elliott and Privileged. Mark Clark and Ann Evans. Ann Evans was on two horses in there, yeah. pulling a sister Miller. Uh -huh, yep. That's All right, right. That's, that's cool. And, uh, but I'm gonna tell you, I've always liked this sideline. It's yeah. just. Kendra Meyer's father told me one time, he said, what do you think about my little bay horse that had you tough? <laughs> and he is now. He, he's, he's a good one. Well, we were talking about earlier how talented these horses have got. Yeah. I remember the time when this class used to come in, everybody wanted to go get popcorn and drinks. Mm -hmm. Now everybody sit down and run in the class and want to come and watch they them. They want to see what's they going on. Because that's how talented these horses right here have got. new. You know? Well, they start watching them and they say, hey. And, and 
you, you kind of look out there and, and you look at the head shaking. I've had them say, well, why is that one head up? And the other one's head down. Why are they doing that? I said, well, one of them's English, one of them's Western. Western. Yep. So you, you've got two different type horses out there showing in the same class. And that is one thing I do not like. Yeah. I don't think they ought to be in the same class. They need to be in separate classes because you're talking about two different divisions. Look at there. Yeah. A Kendra can flat ride a horse. Oh yes, she can. But now like, again, these horses right here, I mean, they pay a, a whole heap of money for these pleasure horses. They, and yes, that's they the do. thing now, these top bred coats that's out here, pleasure horse people buy them just as much as a performance person oh, buy yeah. them. You know, because they want that same type, and that's what telling you how talented this horse is. Well, a lot of people right now that are purchasing are purchasing winglings and yearlings. Yes. So, I mean, it's it just a good thing. But they, these horses are talented. That's the reason we wanted to show it. Only five horses in that class, but it was a good class. Yes. We had five real good horses in there. I'm just a sideline fan and always have been ever since the first time I saw him. It's kind of like Smoking Joe. Uh -huh. I'm a Smoking Joe fan because the first time I saw him, I thought where he was headed and he did. Yes. And I saw sideline and I, I just said, man, that's going to be a good one. And he is. There he is. Pick your partner, pleasure. Reserve winner. And that horse showed twice and won two ribbons. Got reserved both times. That's a nice horse. Real nice. Super nice. Gander is a real nice lady. Yes, she is. She's just sweet as she can be. Sideline. Makes me want to go ride a lady. Yeah. <laughs> Smooth horse. All right, you're up. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> we he's, right get, back he's, up getting better, he's getting better at this. <laughs> he just ain't, ain't quick enough. He, you got to get faster. That's right. <laughs> Giles Dunn is a leader in both cultured and lab-grown diamonds. Located at 234 North Jackson Street in Tullahoma, Tennessee, Giles Dunn is well known for his beautifully designed jewelry. From that special diamond for your special wedding day to the one that says I love you more, Giles Dunn is the place to shop if you want to say it with diamonds. Open five days a week and always ready to assist you in that one in a lifetime purchase. To set an appointment for cultured or lab-grown diamond viewing, call 931-563-7800. Hey Tennessee, Ross Chastain here, the guy who likes to smash watermelons on the front stretch at Nashville Super Speedway. But you know what I never smash? Safety rules. Racing's all about control, and the same goes for life on the road. So use your melon and don't mix drinking and driving. It's like trying to race with a busted engine. Be a pit crew hero. And if you've had a few, pass the keys to a sober friend because we're all racing toward a safer Tennessee and we want you there at the finish line. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3 and be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. All right, we're going to uh, go and look at some Fall Classic victory passes from last week or week four last. Yes. And then we're going to do something very special today that uh, I've, and I'll, I'll tell the story about it when we get ready to do it. But first, let's go to the Fall Classics. 
Here's Jake Ryan and Shane Porterfield for Harper Lawrence. I told him that's the first time my grandfather had to go ask his granddaughter <laughs> for, for permission to show a horse. Yeah, I'm telling you, that little horse was real good. <laughs> Shane told me, he said, I told him, he said, girls, y'all showed him all year long. Why don't you let me show him? <laughs> that's pretty good. Pretty good. Jake Ryan, Shane Porterfield, and for his granddaughter, Harper Lawrence. Amateur only train. Here's Switchblade. Alley Joe Jacobs for the Jacobs and McWaters family. I thought she made a good show. She made a good show. She did. Just she made a real good show. I tell you, oh, Allie Joe, I believe she'd just ride, yeah. just ride anything. You just let her ride. Mm. Oh, she'll ride now. She loves that riding. Oh yeah. And here, honored in Texas, and Bob Adcock, your 50 and over winner. Bob Adcock gets it done. We'll probably see him in Tunica. I know, oh, yeah. I know we'll see Ali Joe Jacobs in Tunica. That's for sure. And Shane Porterfield might be down there. So, so far we got, we're on our, what, our fourth victory pass? Third victory pass. Of three people probably in Tunica. That's a nice horse. Yeah, it is. And here's a kingpin. Amateur 15, two and under reserve winner. I tell you what, that horse is always first or second. Yeah. Always in the hunt. You didn't know Bob's father was a trainer. No, I didn't. He was telling me. He was telling me it was back in the 60s that yep. they used to show horses yep. and they used to train horses and stuff and they got into sailing horses. Yep. Cole Hahn and Allie Joe Jacobs. 11 under winner. That's a nice little horse too. I'm not telling you. Well, that's another horse. He's big and gentle. I've had two people question me on whether or not Serb was a, a stud. Now, yeah. Yes, he's a stud. <laughs> Ride him, Allie Joe. Right here's no doubt I am. I really like this. Oh one. yeah, I do too. Good line he got, he got a, He's got a, a real good line up on horses. My honeybee is one of my favorites. <clears throat> like that horse. Yes. Like her the first time I saw it, and I liked her the last time I saw it. And I like her like that. Taylor does real good. Yep. I see, you can see her. You can see Yo, her. I believe so. I think I've seen her and Molly at every, every time we've gone to Tunica, I believe we've been there. Molly will probably show something down in Tunica too. And here's Wilhelm and Dan Waddell for Missy Johnson. He's a good horse. Hey, he was in there, buddy. 
I'm gonna tell you, these classes right here were good classes, big classes. Tell me about it. There's some good horses in there. It wasn't like he was the only one in there. I mean, he had a bunch of other good horses in that class with him. There was no gimme. That's, that's right. for sure. No gimme. And here's Jose's Limitless. I'm gonna say this again. Molly Walters, I don't know what it is about her, but she has a way of picking the mare. Oh yeah. Now she does. Well, I believe she raised this one. This one out of that mare, out of Lemon. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't think about asking her that. Yeah, yeah, that's who she's at. That's what she's at. I made a remark. I forget who I was talking to, and we were talking about this horse. I said it reminded me of Lemon. But it's her, I think it's her first baby. Well, Molly, you did well. I can tell you that. Sure did, because that's nice. And it does go a lot like lemon mm -hmm. to me. I mean, shoot. Now, we're going to do something that's, that is, uh, you and I have talked about this. Matter of fact, we discussed a little bit on the show, but I had a lady that, uh, of course, I have a lot of people walk up and ask me questions about the horses. She asked me to said, so just one word, how would you describe the Tennessee walking horse? One word. And, and I really couldn't think of just one word to describe the horse, but I did think of one word to describe the industry, mm -hmm. and that's family. Yes. This, the walking horse industry, is a family business. I mean, that, that's just it. Your daddy, you, your son, your brother, yeah. your daughter, mm -hmm. I mean, your grandson, he yeah. likes it. And th that's something to me that's that's very special. So we, what I did was I told CJ, I said, start downloading videos of people in the family that are related that shows. I said, they don't have to be victory passes. They don't have to even look like this. Yeah. I just want people to see the number of family members that are involved in this horse industry that are from the same family. Oh yeah. So CJ, let her go. The Beasleys. You got Beth that's been showing since she was a child. Yes. And she she shows a lot. She. she She's all the time knocking her own riding, but now she, she's a good jockey. She can ride. Does a good job. And that's a good mare. She's on oh, yeah, the good mare. That is a good mare. And here's Maxine Beasley. One of her daughters, mm -hmm. and they they have come up from lead line, just just keep it going, oh, yeah. keep it going. Oh, this this horse is about family now. It this is. is it's... And here's BB Beasley. This is what people need to realize. It will it will get the family together. Yes. And, and a prime example of that is Eli and Ridge. Yeah. What Ridge say? When I get Eli's age. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and here he comes. So, but BB and Maxine, they were born into it. This right here, this is the first family that was ever interviewed for water horse. We started out with yeah. Herbert and Jill, got the girls, went from there. But now this entire family show, <coughs> yep. I don't know if we was able to find video of Jill showing or not, but we had most of them. <laughs> yeah. But Thomas, Thomas has grown up in this industry and does a great job. And Will, Will has shown. Yeah. Will mm -hmm. hasn't shown as much as the 
the, the girls and, and here's Herbert. Yeah. He won the equitation class in Tuna for one year. Uh -huh. Beat Blaze. <laughs> I tell you, Herbert, I'd have voted for Blaze. <laughs> <laughs> She's prettier than you are. There's Will. Will. Mm -hmm. I figured we'd find some video of him because he had shown. And I never thought about it. Notice one thing: every one of the Derricksons set up in this saddle. Oh, yeah. There's Maria. You see how she's setting up in that saddle? Well, they was taught by their dad, and then, I mean. And Herbert's dad was a horse trainer. Yeah. And I mean, he set up in the and that was the area that you he yeah, set he up in the I yeah. believe Herbert's dad even trained Rocky Mountain horses. Mm -hmm. And here's the bomb family. You got, you got Dr. Jim Baum. Uh -huh. His mother was real active in the horse industry. That's right. There's Jacob. Jacob's been showing since he was looking out. Yeah. He, he, his brother, I, I don't think I've ever seen his brother show. But now Jacob really yeah. took mm -hmm. to it. Here's Brittany, Jacob's wife. She shows and she, she worked at the celebration. Yeah. Before they got married, too. And here's Lisa. And before it's over, we're going to show exactly all of them going to take a back seat for the one coming up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I grant you. And right there he is. Oh, yeah. Now, Bentley's going to be well, the man. Well, only be his first year showing in performance. But, man, he made I, a heck of a show tonight. I, I tell you what, I, I watched him, and, and, and he under. gets into it. Oh, yeah, he, he does. does. He gets into it. He likes it now. Yes, he does. He likes it a lot. A bit of change and Bentley Ball. Entry number 722, Where the Blue. You know the way you ride right there, Miami Alive, his grandpa, his great grandpa. Oh, yeah. Doc's wife. My right dear, Callaway's. We'll start with Julia. I doubt whether we could find any of Alan, though, because he, he, uh, he hadn't shown in several years. Yeah. Now, Karen has, but he hadn't. And I'll be honest, I know that we won't have everybody in here that we should. Yeah. But I wanted to show the different members of family that come in here and show horses. There's Bill. And I will add, this is the only family that the father and both sons have won the World Grand Championship. John Allen. According to the feedback we get, we may do another one of these because I know that we are not getting everybody. everybody that's right. We, we will not have everybody. There's just no way. <laughs> this 
Ashley Edcock family. Ashley Young Edcock. Or Ashley Edcock Young. Bob Edcock's daughter. And Bob. Now Bob's father, yeah, was a trainer. Bob and his brother were very involved in walking horses. Right, mm -hmm. The Balcom family. Now, father, daughter, there's Jeanette. Yeah. There's Kayla. <clears throat> that family that does real good. Oh, oh yeah, business. Lord, yes. The whole family is involved. And there's Tyler. Following in his foot, father's footsteps, grandparents. And some of these are third, fourth generation. Oh, yeah. The Jacobs family. Ali Joe Jacobs. Who rules the roost. <laughs> <laughs> she is official CEO of the Jacobs Barn. <laughs> There's Jake. But he, he'd rather watch Allie oh, Joe yeah. than show himself. Here's the Walters family. Let's take another look at our living room. Taylor Walters. Taylor Walters riding for the Bob Walters family. Mother and daughter crew oh, here. Here's Molly. Mm -hmm. Take a look at our Blue Ribbon winner coming down the North Wheel. Mark 1. Molly Walton making the Blue Ribbon. Boy, I love that horse right there. He just, to me, he's just one of them big, bold stallions. Oh, yeah. Smooth, easy going. Mm -hmm. The Green family. Again, now. Here's Candy, but you, you got to look at her daddy, yeah, Whitey, mm -hmm. her father-in-law. That's right. I mean, the, the Greens were, and the Whiteheads were, I mean, in this industry for years. Tanner Burks there and his brother. And here's County.
I don't think that a lot of people realize the uniqueness right. of this industry when it comes to families and spending weekends oh, yeah. at horse shows. Or like this week, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at a horse show. There's Whitley Green. Of course, her father is a, a trainer. Smith family, brother and sister. And this was Audrey Smith, uh -huh. and she she come back to riding too. Okay, well, she's a good little girl. Oh, yeah. yeah, she she is. She handles her hand very well. Daniel, Daniel, it, to me, is, he is just a step under a train. Yeah. Does a great job. And I know we didn't get everybody, but I promise you, we're going to do this again because yeah. somebody is going to call, somebody's going to say something, just like we did the, the youth. And I know we missed some of the youth, and sure enough, I got a phone mm -hmm. call about some of them. And we are going to do them both. We, we still got our off season. Oh, coming. yeah. So we're going to be hunting stuff to do. And we're open for suggestions. Just know, just, if you're going to jump on somebody and bless them out, <laughs> uh, <laughs> call, call him, it's his fault. <laughs> All right, you're up. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3 and be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. More of What a Horse coming up. All right, welcome back. Now we're going to go and we're headed to Tunica for the horse show. Yep. So it's only right that we show what happened last year in Tunica. You remember? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You did some interviews. Didn't yeah, you? I did some interviews. <laughs> we, we could have showed those interviews. <laughs> But we'll, we're going to show some victory passes from last year's Tunica. Mr. Right here, Mr. Heisman, who is now retired, and Bruce McDonald for Bruce and Robin McDonald, the classic horse amateur winner. That horse is going to be missed. Oh, yeah. But now he's standing stud down Sugar Creek. Nice horse. And here's 
up tight, Jose and Bruce McDonald for Bruce and Robin McDonald. Tell you what, he's another real oh, yes. horse. He's kind of solid, you know what I mean? Mark one, what I say? I like it. Mm -hmm. I do. I like that horse. Mark one and Molly Walters. Maybe we'll see them down there. Oh, yeah. My honey bee and Molly Walter. That's nice. Yeah, man. They, that man is they may nice. have her down there showing her again. I'm gonna say so. That's a good mare, buddy. Yeah. Got a fantastic walk. Oh yeah. I don't know what it is. It, 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 she looks like she's so compact and easy. When you catch a horse with his head up, ears forward, and you know, yeah. and walking that way, I mean, she loves her job. She loves what she's, she's doing. She's enjoying it. Yep. And here's Boone's Gin and Sam Martin from Mike Floyd. Hey, what Sam been doing? Good job. Oh, yeah, yeah. And here's first night out in Alley Joe Jacobs. I'm saying she shows in every class. They pretty good. Oh yeah. That young lady has got a lot of talent. You know what I'd like to see? I'd like to see a class where you go out there and you, you have six horses. So you take a dice and you throw it, and them horses are number one through six. Yes. And whatever your number comes up, that's the horse you have to ride. That's right, yeah, that's right. A mighty gin and Sam Martin from Mike Floyd, your reserve winner in the three-year-old staying class. Tell you what, nowadays we have a lot of good horses leaving the ring with no ribbon. Mm -hmm. Here's a country lineman and BB Beasley for Beth Beasley. I see they are getting around a lot better yep. and a whole, whole lot better. Yeah. You just want the cookie. <laughs> oh, they gave me one anyway. <laughs> no, they, yeah, they, 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 they made sure they. <laughs> the country lineman. Them some good girls. Yeah, some good girls. They're gonna go to MTSU. Okay. Is Greg doing okay? Yep, Greg's doing better. That's good. Here's quite an honor and Maxine Beasley, your reserve winner in the youth championship class. Tell you what, that's a that's a great mare. Yeah.
Beth shows her too. Uh huh. Does a good job with her. Matter of fact, that was her that we showed in the Beasley family. Yes. And right there, Super Bowl MVP. That was a great horse. That was a good horse. Uh, that's another one that I hated to see us lose. They're having a heck of a show there in heaven. Now you better believe it. <laughs> Here's Koufax and Blaze Picard. Walking Horse Championship canter winner. Now that right there is super nice. We may see him down there. I'm gonna say yeah. I'm gonna say you probably will. Go and defend his title. A bad cat, that's for sure. Oh, you're a good one. Blaze does a good job with that horse. She really does. That's a real super job. Got a lot of walk to oh, him. Oh yeah, he does. A whole lot of walk. And I, I enjoyed last year. I'm hoping I enjoy this year. I'm sure I will. I just hope we we have a big class. I do too. A lot of horses in there like we did at the Fall Classic, but it's uh, something else. Yeah. Remind everybody the show starts 14th, 15th, and 16th. We will report on it next week. And anybody that's got suggestions for shows during the off season, believe me, I'm open for it. You can call me or you can email me, or if you just see me out, call Jerry, tell Jerry. Yes. And we, we can. We can do it. That's right. I like it during the off season because you don't have to worry about a horse show, even though you would like to have one. Yeah. But you can always go to the barn. Yep. You can always go to the barn and watch the horses and and visit. And, yeah, and visit and yeah. camaraderie and just have a good time. Plus, you get to watch all the the coach coming up. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this week. I want to wish all of you luck in Tunica. Have a safe trip, and be careful and we'll see you when you get back. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.